Okay, I am not going to join your Discord server, and I never will. And for those of you who don't know, I don't have a Discord account, and I never will, for a lot of reasons. Discord is, in my opinion, a horrible piece of software. Um, worse than, worse than probably like, maybe not worse than Adobe, but worse than things like, I can't, I can't no, but it's just, it's really bad. Um, there's a lot of reasons I don't use it, and I think you should definitely not use it. And if you are using it, stop, because it's a horrible piece of software. And in my opinion, you definitely shouldn't use it. There's better alternatives. There's way better things out there. So I'll go ahead and, and uh, show you why. So I have this page pulled up. It's um, there's, you know, uh, there's a little website out there called the Spyware, Spyware Watchdog. Which goes out and they um, they go ahead and independently report all the spyware and all the software. So here they gave Discord a um, interesting spyware rating, which is extremely high, and you'll see why in a moment. In fact, it's so high they even made their. I'm not sure if they made their own pin or this is just a pin they borrowed. But there's a pin they have a web pin that says Discord. No way. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is, um, it is a very, it, it tracks a lot of things you do. Um, for some examples, uh, first things first, Discord is not open source. That's, if that isn't a reason not to use it in and of itself, I don't know what is. Like, you should be using open source software. Um, of course, it collects a lot of information. Some of it is reasonable, like IP address, somewhat. Device UUID, uh, maybe not, but email address makes sense. Um, all text messages do not. They should not do that. Um, as well as a few other things. Some of them make sense, some of them don't. But another thing that they log is all the programs, all the other programs you open on your computer. So let's say you open Notepad. Boom, Discord knows that you open Notepad at that time and while doing this on their, on their program. Or, or you want to open your web browser. Boom, they know you open your web browser. Things they don't need to know. Um, so yeah, they have a process logger that monitors the processes that you're doing on your computer, which is insane when you think about it. Why does Discord need to know this? They don't. And the reason they do that is for advertising. Um, I don't think there's a official report on whether they sell this information to advertisers, but I think everyone knows at this point that it's for advertising. I think, where is it? Yeah, it's... Recording the programs you have open to build a statistical model of what programs you might buy slash license in the future. So yeah, I don't think Discord has ads in it. Uh, it's been a couple of years since I've used it. In fact, I, I regret even making an account, even though I deleted it a long time ago. Um, I regret doing that. Another thing is they try to, you know, force you to use your phone, phone number, which, like, some people don't have phones. Why well, can't some companies realize that? Whatever. Um, and of course... Like any, you know, like any compromised company, they go ahead and hand over information to the government willingly. So that's that's that. Um, there's also a little section on Discord's future, but I'm not getting into that. Uh, it's Discord is so bad, in fact, that I looked up. Um, oops, I looked up Discord on uh, Wibby. Wibby.me, which if you don't know, it's a sort of a small private-ish. Search engine for small websites, like small individual websites that aren't like these big companies or anything like that. And the the first four results, like the top four results, are all like why you shouldn't use Discord, why it's bad, why it's horrible. And I think I'll actually go or the go into the first one. But yeah, this person cadence, whoever you are, you're getting free credit on this video. But um. They go over a lot of different reasons why you definitely shouldn't use it. Um, I mean, of course, everyone knows it's poorly managed, but that's not my concern. I don't care about the management uh, or disabilities or things like that. Downtime is also something I don't 100% care about. But um, where is it? Uh, untrustworthy staff, that makes sense, yeah. Um, ah, here we go. Metadata collection. So... Like I said, they, they track all the information, um, like all the information that they possibly can at some points. It's crazy. But um, 
Yeah, a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of things like uh, child grooming or stuff like that. That's I think that's just, that's that's not a problem with Discord itself, but that's just what it's turned into. So yeah, not good. Um, oh, their business model. Here we go. One thing that this person states specifically is Discord is not profitable, in the sense that in the sense that Discord Nitro, the one thing you pay for that you can pay for, is not profitable. So they have to do ads or sell your data on the like on the side in order to actually make that money back, which is I think it's a horrible business model. But that's just what Discord's turned into at this point. Um, spyware that sells your information for money. And of course, they have security issues, which is another big thing. Um, and yeah, more data collection, um, as well as alternatives. This is what, this is what I should emphasize. There are, are better alternatives to discord like matrix, XMPP, heck, even rocket chat. Like I don't, I don't use it that much, but that's better. And even Slack to some degree. I don't trust Slack that much though. Um, uh, matter most is better and Skype stay away from Skype too, but <laughs> that's really what I recommend. Um, definitely don't use Discord. I'm not going to use it. That's it. I'll see you whenever.